Good day, dear students. This is the video on color vision. Just as with regard to normal vision, we need to determine whether color vision is formed by the brain or the eyes. So I'll give you an anecdote about a New York artist, Jonathan I, who went colorblind. Oliver Sacks wrote a book on him called The Case of the Colorblind Painter. He went colorblind after a traffic accident and he saw his own flesh, his wife's flesh, as gray colored. This is a monochromatic painting which he drew after he became colorblind. He developed a rare condition called cerebral achromatopsia due to lesion in area V8 of the cerebral cortex. So color vision is formed by the brain and not by the eyes. Please remember that we see color with our brains. Color vision is the province of the cones. In 1802, Thomas Young stated that we need three detectors, just three detectors to detect all the colors in a spectrum. Just think, without complex electrophysiological recordings or fMRIs, how would Young have come to such a conclusion? You guessed it right. Just as your painting teacher told you that by mixing the primary colors, we can get all the colors. He mix and match colors and does deduce that we need just three detectors to detect all the colors in the spectrum. Then there was a legendary German scientist called Hermann von Hammonds, who, had, who has done a lot of work on optics. He said that the three types of detectors are blue sensitive, green sensitive and red sensitive. So now we come to the young Hammonds theory of color vision. Three kinds of cones, each is, contains a different photopigment and each is sensitive to one of the three primary colors. So which are the kinds of cones and which are the primary colors? The, the primary colors are blue, green and red. The cones are short wavelength sensitive or S cone, medium wavelength sensitive or M cone and red or long wavelength sensitive or L cone. Any color can be produced by mixing primary colors. For example, by mixing red and green, you can produce yellow. Mixing complementary colors can produce white. For example, by mixing blue and orange, you can produce white. In the absence of light, when there is darkness, the eye does not see black, it sees nothing. How did color vision evolve? These are the lampreys, the oldest ancestors of humans, and they have a four cone system that is known as teratopic vision. Reptiles and birds, because of the environment in which they live, they also have a four cone system. They are lucky. Mammals, on the other hand, have two cone system. Then how did we humans as mammals develop a three cone system? Long ago, dinosaurs ruled the world. 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs became extinct. And 35 million years ago, in this old world, monkeys color vision developed so that they could distinguish between the types of fruits, whether the fruits could be eaten or they were poisonous. And they say it also helped in mating behaviors because uh, females uh, became ripe uh, during their menstruating period. So red and green separated and lie on the X chromosome and that is how humans developed a three code system. So in humans red green color blindness is common. It is particularly common in males. It is autosomal recessive, lies on the X chromosome and occurs in 8% of the males. Please remember it occurs in males of the alternate generation. There is a very interesting anecdote with regard to 
uh, color blindness. One teacher who was used to asking very difficult questions to his students asked them whether they knew any reason for green colored urine. The students were utterly confused. They did not know what was the reason for a green colored urine. Finally, the teacher told them that the urine is in fact red colored. The patient has hematuria, but because he is color blind, he sees his urine as green. So red green color blindness occurs and is common in males. In 8% of males occurs in males of the alternate generation. This is a drug called Viagra. Viagra causes blue green color blindness. As you might be aware, it is used for erectile importance. It inhibits both the retinal and the penile form of the phosphodiesterase enzyme. As you might recollect, the retinal form of phosphodiesterase plays a key role in phototransduction by breaking down cyclic GMP. So there are three kinds of codes. Each is sensitive to one of the three primary colors. Mixing uh, one of the primary, uh, two of the primary colors can produce a different color. Mixing red and green can produce yellow. Mixing complementary colors like blue and orange can produce white. The eye does not see black, it sees nothing. Color vision developed in old world monkeys uh, so that they could distinguish between uh, ripe fruits, fruits which could be eaten and fruits which are poisonous. And the drug Viagra, which is used for erectile importance, causes blue-green color blindness. Finally, red-green color blindness is common in males. It is autosomal recessive and transmitted on the X chromosome. Thank you and have a good day.